Population growth in London um, is, is a real issue for everybody. We're growing somewhere between 70,000 and 100,000 people a year. Growth is not a policy choice. It's something that's happening to us now and is going to happen at a much faster pace into the future. And that presents some real challenges and some real opportunities for us. So in terms of services, that means we need to uh, meet this rising demand, but actually our resources are falling at the same time. That has impact in terms of services and health provision, school services, housing services. And our role as the council is to shape and manage that growth in the interests of our community. So looking at what advantage we can bring to situations and how we can stimulate growth within Kingston. And we need to be working with our residents and our partners to make growth really work for us. The Mayor of London is well known for his support of cycling and um, part of this is our proposals for Mini Holland schemes. The GO programme is, is Kingston's name for the £30 million funding that came from TfL um, under the Mini Holland's um, programme. Um, to transform cycling infrastructure around the borough. Um, this also includes increase, improving public spaces and road safety for everyone. It's really about trying to take the conflict of the cycle and the car away. How can we get them? both modes of transport to live side by side and safely. I think it's very busy, especially on the way. I So far I've only taken the bus, which is always heaps of people, and I see the bike people always going by, so it's a bit nervous to try and do it on the tiny bit of lanes. And behind me we have the Portsmouth Road, where already we're nearing completion on putting in a new cycling lane and some quite exciting public realm improvements. We're going to have a range of new seating, with a better vista looking out across the river. And we're already looking forward to uh, design concepts for the Broadway, which is over uh, towards the river here, um, which will take the cyclists off the Portsmouth Road, along a cantilevered uh, new Broadway and through Kingston Bridge, round the other side into Cambridge Gardens. When I saw that there, I was thinking of having like, big bicycle lanes by the river. I thought that was a very good idea. And that's what our policies are about. It's what King, Kingston fully supports that. And between us, I'm sure we can find some suitable solutions. And this is why Kingston has been very much at the forefront of pushing for Crossrail 2, which will completely, radically change the way we link up with other parts of London. And today, um, we've, we've had a superb announcement that Lord Adonis's um, commission is now fully supporting Crossrail 2. Which will result in 10 new Crossrail 2 stations coming to Kingston Borough with all the benefits that that will bring. So more and more of our, ser of our services now are delivered uh, via shared arrangements with other authorities. And we will from the 1st of May have a, um, a shared HR service between Kingston and Sutton. So um, Kingston are looking at obviously lots of different delivery models um, in terms of services um, being delivered in different ways and I think having a forward-thinking HR service um, that can provide the advice and support that's needed for the organisation um, will, will help them to achieve that goal. I think from the outset you need to be clear about service expectations and be, you know, what you're actually going to deliver and also strong performance data I think is more important in a shared service than it is uh, with an in-house service. One really good example is the ICT service which has been running for, for nearly three years now. Um, that's a shared service with Sutton, it means we've got a shared ICT infrastructure with Sutton and it means it acts as a really good platform actually if we're looking to share with the services. Um, so we're in the process of rolling out the last stages of what's called Mon Desktop. A modern desktop is a, is a common infrastructure between the two councils and that will allow us to deliver our ICT to our users wherever they are using any device. As a business partner working across the two organisations it's um, helpful to be able to spot those synergies whether it's um, that one source or one source of data or an application um, can benefit both um, departments. So you're only using one procurement team uh, you're only having uh, one applications lead then support the product when it goes into BAU and one set of maintenance costs. 
So from a cost saving perspective, again, it's also really, really um, helpful for both councils to come together on this one. We will need to practice this and, and, and get used to it, but embracing the technological solutions that will help us, I'm sure will actually encourage an integrated culture for our new HR service. The waste system is obviously one of the most high profile of the council services. We've managed to turn around a completely new process for collecting waste. The waste contract, a seven year new uh, collection contract with Veolia. Working with Veolia, we identified a new method of collection uh, which is faster, uses less vehicles, uh, it's the cheaper service. The residents wouldn't notice that they've been delivered a blue bin, and the blue bin is for the uh, card and the paper. So paper and card remains dry and, and the green box is used for all the other materials and that's collected on alternate weeks. But now it's just so much easier and so much quieter. Get down the roads a lot quicker. So there's never any really any we're never holding up any traffic anymore. One of the uh, difficulties that have been with the past collection is missed collections. But we've now got a new computerized system. It's a it's a real time system that enables us to check where the crews are at any given time in the day. Yeah, we've had a lot, of, we've had a, a, quite a few customers come out and, and say how much easier it is with the cardboard and paper, it's not blowing down the road because it's now in a lidded bin. The system was very well communicated and I'm happy at the moment with how things are going. That's what I mean about delivering change and delivering it in a way that brings people with us. The Kingston History Centre is the official place of deposit for the council, so all council records should eventually end up in our archive collection. What's great about being in central Kingston is that we're finally with our colleagues in planning, our colleagues in ICT and finance and strategic business, and we're able to engage with them and show how the history and the archival record can inform their work and potentially make uh, decision making easier and better. So um, the, the register office actually moved from Coombe Road at the end of September 2015 and we've now come to the Guildhall and we're in the Magistrates Court which is at the basement of the Guildhall. When it was decided that this would be an option for us, we kind of jumped at it because we thought we can actually compete with our other boroughs now, um, you know, on size of marriage rooms. The seating capacity in at Coombe Road was um, 20, and we now have two ceremony rooms, one that seats 40 and one that seats 70. So we can actually attract a larger um, selection, a la larger section of the uh, marriage market so hopefully that would um, increase um, income for the council as well. The budget programme we're talking about isn't called Destination Kingston by chance. It's called that because it marks out how we see the Kingston of the future as a destination of choice to come to live, to work, to play, to visit as a tourist. All of these things are fundamental. That combined with London's growth is going to be good for the residents of Kingston. It means there's plenty of job opportunities. There's plenty of alternatives for them to go to if they want to find different types of work. Um, and indeed, um, working with Kingston, we hope that we are going to be able to develop um, the skills of Kingston residents. So they're well placed to pick up on the benefits that are coming from London as a world city. I think we need to be thinking a little bit more entrepreneurially in the way we use the council's resources. So we've got a really important role there because that, that's, that's good for business but that's also good for people's employment prospects and for their own individual situ situations and that's, the council has a really important role to play in that.